All right, everybody, this is Russ. I have a really special treat that I want to share with you guys today. It's called the Orange Glow Watermelon. It's an orange watermelon. And uh, the reason why I'm so excited is not because it's really, well, it is because it's orange, you know? Because uh, usually it's not really the colors that are like, oh, this is so beautiful, it's dazzling me, I have to try the colorful fruits, right? It's because we're used to see, we're used to seeing red watermelon, right? But almost always is the color associated with a flavor. So the fact that this is orange means it should taste different than a red watermelon. And they say, a lot of people have said, it has a more tropical flavor to it, which is pretty interesting. I have to say that to me, got me really excited and I've been really looking forward to growing this particular watermelon. And you guys know I've been on this melon journey for quite some time and unfortunately we failed last year. Uh, this year we got quite a bit of a melon harvest. Uh, the watermelons came in quite late. We're almost actually at frost which is kind of crazy that I'm even getting watermelons I guess. Um, but our melons just this year were not very sweet and uh, they didn't have the bricks that I thought they were going to have. And it was kind of overall a little disappointing. But this orange glow watermelon here um, might just make everything worth it, you know. Um, so I'm looking forward to this. I want to try this guy. So let's get ourselves here a piece from the center. and see if everybody is right, wrong, whatever it is that I think about this. It is a little tropical, but not a whole lot. Really, to me, it tastes like watermelon, like a red watermelon that I guess I've been used to eating my entire life. Um, overall, I'm actually quite disappointed in this. And I think the reason for that is that it tastes a lot like a store-bought watermelon. Um, so to me, it doesn't have much, anything special about it. And I guess it's possible that we just have to get better at growing melons or something, right? Um, I did pick this thing, I thought, to what looked like um, pretty much the perfect time to pick it. This is the third, actually the third orange glow watermelon here that I've picked. We picked another one here today and then we also picked one about a week ago and the tendril was definitely died back all the way. Um, it's sweet but you know if it's not picked to perfection and maybe it's missing, a, you know, maybe it doesn't have enough photosynthesis, maybe there's not enough something um, it just probably won't develop maybe that full effect of that tropical flavor. Maybe it really comes in at the end when it's perfectly ripe. So I guess the verdict is not really, you know, closed, I guess, for me. But I'm not getting any mind-blowing effects from this watermelon. So I'm probably not going to grow it again. I'm uh, a little disappointed. I think in just in general about homegrown watermelons right now. So yeah, I don't know. I can eat this, a lot of it, and it's good. This is actually, it is a pretty well ripened uh, watermelon, so don't get, don't get me wrong, but it's not probably ripened, I would assume, to perfection. If it's supposed to have that, you know, really tropical flavor to it, Yeah, I'm just not really picking it up all that much. I don't know. I'll tell you what, guys. This is a good melon, though, so I'm not totally complaining or anything. It's just I'd rather use my space to grow other things. That's a lot of juice. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Sticking with me here through the melon journey, if you've been watching our other melon videos that we've been doing. 
next year I think we're going to get it right or close to right. And uh, I'll be happy to talk more about these melons at that date. Um, yeah, I hope this does also clear it up for you guys if it's sort of worth growing this or not. To me, it's not worth growing it here, but it doesn't seem like any watermelon's worth growing here because, you know, every watermelon I've ever had so far kind of tastes a lot like you would get at the store. So why not just buy them? You know, so clearly I'm not doing something right. Um, or the commercial growers are doing something so right that uh, it, it just doesn't make sense to grow watermelon. Um, yeah, I, it's probably me. It's probably me for sure. And maybe it's something to do with the climate here. Maybe the time of the year I'm ripening these. The amount of sunlight they had. I mean, there's so many reasons. But yeah, for me, I don't. I wouldn't even recommend this particular watermelon, although it did perform well. Um, put out three three melons for me of a pretty good size. This one's, I guess, a little smaller, but this one here is about the size you could get at the store. Um, but yeah, I don't even know. I probably wouldn't recommend this variety, and I probably just wouldn't recommend growing watermelon at home at all, which really at that point, it's just because you have a lot of space, a lot of time, and um, you want to save yourself a little bit of money, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But I hope that changes. I hope that that opinion changes. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think. If you've grown this watermelon, if you've grown other watermelons at home, what you think of them compared to the store, et cetera, et cetera. We'll talk to you guys soon. All right. Take care. We'll see everybody in the, the next video.